the report. Obviously, you know that um, all the Commission have received the report and representatives of the Essendon Football Club. And now it's up to our General Counsel, Andrew Dillon, to advise us on what the next steps are. Details of the report have already been leaked to the press. Is this going to encourage you to release those details earlier than planned? Well, look, the AFL has consistently maintained confidentiality, maintained confidentiality throughout this whole process. I'm not going to comment or speculate on what's in the newspapers. It's, that would be inappropriate. There is a process afoot at the moment. It's the correct process. Our general counsel uh, is reviewing the report, and he will obviously outline to the commission what the next process, what, what the next steps of the process are. Do you expect a resolution by finals? Oh, we're hoping. I mean, uh, uh, with the best intent. I think it would be appropriate if we could, but if we can't, uh, it will be what it will be. But again, there is a process that's in place and that is being dictated to, to us and directed to us by our General Counsel. What can you tell us what we can expect from you? Again, that will be entirely up to Andrew Dillon, our General Counsel. Um, the Commissioners have all read the report, uh, I would assume. I mean, I know I have. I haven't spoken to any Commissioners about it. Uh, and now we await what our advice is from Andrew Dillon. There's a commission meeting on Monday. Could it happen any earlier than that, or will that be the first time the commission gathers? Uh, I'm not going to comment on, on the activities of the AFL commission. Is the AFL to stand down? No. Yeah, Tim Watson suggested the other day that the, the, the AFL has been conditioning the public that Essendon's going to lose their premiership points, and that decision was made quite some time ago. What's your response to that? Uh, look, I've, I've always had a lot of time for Tim. I think he's a wonderful person and been a great ambassador. I think he's a great commentator. I was really surprised by those comments because, uh, in short, I think they're offensive to suggest that the AFL Commission and the people on the Commission, like Richard Goiter, the CEO of West Farmers, uh, you know, Chris Lynch, who works for Rio Tinto, we've got a family law court judge recently retired in Linda Dessau, would somehow predetermine an outcome is just offensive and it's completely wrong. Uh, Mark Rusciuto's comments that there was pressure for James to stand down? I, I, I don't know. I haven't spoken to Mark Rusciuto, so I wouldn't know where, where, where that came from. OK, thanks very much, Shiva. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.